Since the recession, commercial real estate investors have largely stuck to the safety of major U.S. markets. But a new report shows that that's all changing thanks to new cash and new opportunities. Diana Olick reports. New York, San Francisco, Boston, these top tier markets have all been safe havens for commercial real estate cash as investors licked their recessionary wounds. That is now turning around. Tailwinds are the new headwinds. So I, I think there's more positive momentum uh, helping than, than what we've had in the last few years. That momentum comes in the form of cash, foreign and institutional investors, private equity and REITs, not to mention that banks are lending again and the commercial mortgage-backed securities market is on the rise. Market-wise, while San Francisco still sits at the top of PwC's hot list, Houston moved up to second and Dallas jumped four spots into the top five. Denver, Nashville and Austin are also seeing much more investor demand. A noticeable dropout, Washington, D.C. It fell from 8th to 22nd place in investor interest. You can thank its local employer for that. It's been the, the 18 months of, uh, of noise regarding the budget debate um, and the shutdown, sequestration. All of those are symptoms. Um, but the bigger story, I think, in the eyes of investors is just that massive uncertainty. So why is the oh-so-unglamorous warehouse sector so popular now? You're looking at it. E-commerce. As shopping moves online, retailers need distribution centers near big cities, especially as more consumers demand their goods overnight. And from the cities to the sectors, industrial is number one, surpassing the apartment sector for development and investment prospects. Its warehouse subsector is driving the gains. It's had a major impact on the warehouse sector. Thank you. Chambers Street, a New Jersey-based REIT, went public this year. It focuses on the warehouse space. We see now that other companies are adding more and more of a direct-to-the-customer component to their warehouse operations. As competition for the space grows, vacancies are dropping, rents are rising, and yield is looking very attractive. All the more reason for commercial cash to store itself in the sector. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Diana Olick in Washington.